Okay, right now I'm going to show you the cable wood chop, which is a great exercise for golf um, because it trains your trunk to work rotationally upon a stable base with your lower half. So there are different variations. The cable wood chop looks like this. So we're rotating with the shoulders and the arms nice and level. Arms remaining straight, which is really important. Uh, you'll notice it's very easy, if you watch anyone doing this exercise, to stop turning the body and let the elbow bend. Whereas if you keep your arms straight, you know that you're actually rotating the torso as much as possible. So you train for that strength over range of motion. Initially, however, we often start with an ISO press or a Parloff press is the other name for it. So cable ISO press, making your hands one unit and pushing out straight like that. So straight out in front of my sternum and back to where I started. I can feel myself loading into this leg that's close to the cable here as it's pulling me this way. So in this way it becomes an anti-rotation exercise, which is great for golf as well, as we need to slow the trunk down as the arms move down towards impact. So it's a good way to start off before a cable wood chop. Um, if anyone experiences any kind of back pain with the wood chop, an ISO press nice and light is a good way to build up to actually starting to rotate. We can also do variations such as moving from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock or 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Um, but in the end, probably the biggest progression will be the amount of plates that you're using on the weight stack. So that's the cable wood chop. We're starting in this plane up here. Imagine you're hitting a ball off a, a tee, more like tee ball. Um, and it's a good way to train the trunk for rotation.